Oy, giant versus robots. Robots versus giant. Alright, so... Get this out. Alright. Actually, we're gonna start at 20 life. And let's see who gets it. I'm gonna get, guess you get it. Yep. Called it. Called it. Alright, man. Here we go. Ooh. Keep. Oh boy. Well, and then while he's doing that, let me show no lands. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's not the start we want. All right. While he's doing that, let me show what I have going on here. So this, I don't know what he's gonna. Since he's on the play, this is a little awkward. But if I were on the play, this would be super easy. But we're, we're gonna see what he's set up for, what he's doing. Um, and then there's you, of course. Eventually we get here, and that gets silly. Um, and then just late game stuff. Alright. Waka waka. Here we go. I realize, well, we'll talk about that later. Fair enough. Let's do more. Okay. 19. Oh, you have a stomping ground, isn't it? There's one stomping ground. Okay. It's three overgrown tomb, three blood crypt, one stomping ground. Uh, because the stomping ground doesn't work for him to Torok. So, you know, black man is more consequential in this deck, usually. 17. Alright. Show me a Curdate. That's That's why it's there. <laughs> That's why it's there. All right, well, that's a thing. Blip, blip. All right. Go ahead. Let's see what I got. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um. Because you started on a mulligan. Hmm. Uh, this is one of those unfortunate instances where I, since I know what your deck is, I might not be able to. I, I know what I'm supposed to do that might be different than what I would normally do. Um. How do I do this in such a way that I try to make, I try to mimic my regular actions? Um, so we'll start off with Ornithopter. Hmm. Ancient Tomb. Tap for two, make two, and. Hanger Black Walker X1. So one itty bitty teeny tiny measly little counter. There you go. On the Hanger Black Walker, and I'll pass the turn. Two, two more. Yep. Um, falsies. Yeah. All right, so what I was debating is, so Ancient Tomb, Wasteland, Sphere of Resistance, Crucible of Worlds, Sword of Feast and Famine. Oh, here, let me splay these out a little bit. So turn, spread them out. There we go. So, bunches of mana. Bulk of the mana. But, you know, which one do we take? I take Crucible of Worlds. Yep. Fair enough. Go ahead. Whee! There we go. Uh, no attacks. 
No. Okay. Hmm. You're gonna waste your blood crypt. Mm -hmm. Two sphere. Mm -hmm. Put me at sixteen, and I will pass the turn. So all of our spells, yours and mine, will cost one more to play. Swing two. Lock hanger back walker. Yep. Turns into a uh, one one thopter flying. Go ahead. Waste your other stomping ground. Um, definitely fine to hit the crucible there with wasteland. Definitely fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the field, this is the hand. I'm doing the reveal my hand thing, so I confused myself for a second. Um, then we're going to pass the turn. Good. No attack? No. Okay. Ancient tomb. Mm -hmm. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Five. Okay. Take four, mm -hmm. sort of fire nice, pass the turn. Go ahead. Sculpting steel as sphere of resistance. Okay. Pass turn. Go ahead. All right. going to put Sword of Fire and Ice onto, uh, we'll say, the Thopter, the 1-1 the one -one Thopter. Mm -hmm. Make it a 3-3. Three -three. I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I would like to swing for 3. Okay. Uh, when it connects, I will shock you for 2, and then I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. And I will pass the turn. Pass the turn. Just get some deck thinning in. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's it's tough in the spot. Getting too low. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um, spoiler alert. So the next turn, I was about to have Sphere of Resistance. Here's another Sphere of Resistance. Here's another Sculpting Steel. That was just turned into a prison deck there. It's not normally the game plan of the deck. Alright, here we go. Sideboards have been used. Sideboard cards will not be found, <laughs> knowing my luck. That's how this works. You'll be on the play, I take it? Mm -hmm. Alright. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. Okay. Um. <laughs> lots of means, no end. Lots and lots of means, but no end. Uh, I'm on the draw. I'll keep. Mm. Sixteen. Okay. Well, I only have one actual land, but I have Mox Opal. Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Ornithopter, Ornithopter Sculpting Steel. <laughs> I don't really have a payoff card. Ooh. 
Mana, 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 dude, dude, something. <laughs> well, you're doing Crypt. that. Crypt. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Here we go. Um, at least we got something, I guess. Wasteland. Ooh. Jay, resist the urge. Resist the urge. You know you want to. Don't. Uh, no, I think it is the right play. Mox Opal. Double Ornithopter. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. We're going to waste your Blood Crypt. Yep. One and two. Mana Vault. Hmm. Make three. Mm -hmm. Steel Overseer. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. And here's my don't forget you take one die. Tomb tapped. Go ahead. Alright. There we go. Alright. That's the thing, I guess. <clears throat> I caught myself. I caught myself. It took me a second, but I did. Um, Alright, Steel Overseer tap. Mm -hmm. yeah, spread the counter here, spread the love. I would like to go to combat. Yep. Two! Yep. Um, pass turn. Oh, you get a counter too, buddy. Go ahead. Boink. Uh, Steel Overseer. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like to go to combat. Yep. 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 Yeah, all right. Put you to ten, and then I will pass the turn. Got nine. So I was wrong, I did find a side, well I think it's a sideboard card. There's a 75% chance it's a sideboard card. Oh. One in the main, three in the side. And they're not marked in any way for me to know whether I drew a sideboard version or a regular version. And sometimes you can do that by well, literally marking on the front of the card, or just getting different arts, or something like that. Eight. Uh-oh. Whatever's about to happen, I have a feeling I'm not going to like it. We're going to pulse the thopters. <laughs> Dope, son. Where'd you find that? Top of the deck. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Go ahead. Yep, pulse is a card. Boink. Mm -hmm. Alright. So he finally finds another land. Oh, this is a land. <laughs> We're gonna pretend it is at least. Erm. We're going to uh, tap for two. Mm -hmm. 
hang your back walker, X equals one, mm -hmm. and tap the steel overseer and give it another counter. Okay. And then after that, yep, passing the turn. You know it. Alright. Uh oh, I'm letting the gen player reach his late game. I'm hoping there are a bunch of red cards stuck in his hand. Liliana, okay. Life link 2-3. Go ahead. Alright, you have to control the other creature that dies. Uh, take one. Mm -hmm. Swing with the hanger back walker. Was it two? It's a two two. Uh, no blocks. All right, you know the drill. Still yeah. overseer. Four three. You take three. Um, and then pass the turn. Go to three. Okay. Ooh, he has a play. Other than lifelink Lily. Uh oh. Double green. Uh oh. Green. Uh oh. Doesn't matter. Uh oh. Crushing gust. Yeah, there's your sideboard card. So All right. two, four, six, eight. Yep. And I'll get three. Um, you'll gain yeah eight life. I'll get three, one one, thopters with flying. This one, this one, and this one. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I'm gonna call them. Swing two. Um. Probably should have done that first, but oh well. Now you know. Um, yeah, we're going to triple block here. Right. And you gain two? Yep. Dos mas. Well, I think you're in a slightly better spot now. Uh, Lotus Petal. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. I want to keep that in my hand, but I don't want you to thought seize me. Him. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. It's a two. It's this one, and then odds evens. Alright, so you hit <laughs> double sculpting steel. Well, I mean, that card was hot when Steel Overseer was on the field. Not so much now. Alright, strip mine. Pop the lotus petal. Crucible. Pass turn. Scooching my graveyard up just a teeny tiny itsy bitsy bit. Go ahead. All right, cool. Now, how many cards do you have in hand? Three. Three. I'm assuming there's at least one red card in there. That would make some sense. Well. Waste an overgrown tomb. Strip mine an overgrown tomb. Pass turn. Go ahead. Right. Strip mine an overgrown tomb. Pass turn. I'm sorry, dude. Um, I wish there were more graveyard hate in the format. There's no relic of progenitus or anything like that. Uh, Pithing Needle 
might be something for the sideboard now that I think about it. Um, did you bring in Blood Moon by chance? No. Okay. Uh, it seems like it'd be really weird against a, a robot's deck, but because of all the land destruction, um, and uh, you have basics, but you have a swamp and two forests, so it's not great. Um, but yeah, that's that's a robot. So I brought in the Crucible is one main, two in, or three in the side, and I think that's the only one that showed up. That is. Uh, other than that, <laughs> two more Crucibles, and a Worm Coil engine, which replaced Karn Silver Golem. Um, there just aren't enough artifacts. I, I think Karn kills actual nothing in your deck, and so it's just not worth playing Arcbound or uh, Worm Coil engines. It does its job better. Where did I? I passed over you somewhere, dude. All right, you're in here. You're in here. Hey, there you are. All right, cool. And then as for the sideboard, I took out Chalice. Doesn't hit enough of your deck. Uh, Karn I mentioned, and then two Sphere of Resistance, because um, just doesn't do enough against you. This is usually for combo decks, and you have enough lands that eventually, notwithstanding weird cases like what happened in game one, you can usually get around that. Um, especially if you're mind-twisting me on the first turn or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's that's how this went. How did you do? I mean, obviously Fracturing Gust. What else did you bring in? That was it. That was it? Fair enough. Uh, yeah, the Blood Moon is good, but you have to like you you have to hard play around it, and I don't know that that would have been yeah where we want to be. Maybe I should put more basics in so that Blood Moon's more accessible, or maybe I take out Blood Moon so that we um, have another. Never isn't really that necessary for the most part, from what I saw. Yeah, uh, maybe some needles go in to protect your mana base. I don't know, because they'd hit Wasteland, they hit Strip Mine, they hit Dust Bowl, they hit Tech Edge. Oh, they have so many things to hit. Alright, that's, that's that one. 